Okay, uh, so this thing here is called a BIPRA bi-directional IDE SATA converter kit. So this enables you to use a SATA hard drive like this with this kind of interface into a motherboard which has only a ID interface like like you see here so uh, this is useful to have if you have an old computer let's say you have a old Pentium 3 um, 850 or 933 megahertz or a um, Pentium 4 um, computer an early model Pentium 4 such as a 1.6 gigahertz or 1.8 or 2 gigahertz computer or even if you have like a Pentium 4 made from uh, from 2000 to 2005 which may all have a uh, ID interfaces only then this is useful to have because uh, they don't really make ID hard drives anymore and if you do buy those buy an ID hard drive it may be like very old and worn out and it may just have like very little life left in it so the best thing is to get something like this and it comes with a, a SATA cable which you hook which you put into the SATA hard drive it comes with this thing to power the SATA hard drive comes with this little instruction um, manual it shows you how to hook it up right there and it shows you the different types of interfaces and what they are basically and um, what it comes with and this shows you how to hook it up so basically, um, hooking it up is not very difficult in any way. So I'm going to get this kit out. Okay. So the way you get this thing in is by putting this part into your old motherboard just plug it in and then you plug in the SATA port you see right here to here this this thing the SATA port goes right here all the way to my left right there so let me get that SATA in. Goes in only one way, it's like that, and that's the interface, so you get it in like get it in like so. Just plug it in, and you just plug this part into the hard drive. this part goes into the hard drive like right here just like that And then you need to get some kind of a converter cable which um, converts from Molex to 
uh, SATA power, which I'll show you where that is. It doesn't come with this kit, but you can get it. See that thing right there? I don't know if you can see that. Let me get a better angle. That. So this is a, a, Mo, a SATA to Molex converter cable. So you would connect this part into your computer's power supply which has a female Molex jack. Let me show you what that looks like. So it looks like that cable right there that's that's what will be coming out of your power supply and you connect that to to that right there connected to that and uh, you're able to use your you're able to use this this uh, hard drive this SATA hard drive in your old um, motherboard. So that's how you get it. That's how you get it to work. And conversely, if you have a um, IDE hard drive, then you'd have to connect the SATA power cable into another port. So let me take this out. So if you want to put this into a SATA a hard drive, so this is bi-directional, you could do both. So you would connect this thing, this SATA cable right here, and then you would connect this part into the motherboard. So if you want to use a IDE hard drive in a modern motherboard, it's possible but then you'd have to put this into the motherboard and in order to power the IDE hard drive you would have to use this cable right here so in order for you to power it um, you would have to hook this in here just like just like so let's put it in there it's like that and then just now it goes in this way just connect it until it snaps into place it goes in so you connect this into your IDE hard drive right here and like I said this part goes into your motherboard and you connect this part into the hard drive into your IDE hard drive and that's how you get to use an old IDE hard drive if you, if you have one and a modern motherboard so it goes both ways so it this is very uh, versatile to have so if you have any old ID hard drives you don't have to throw them away you could you could reuse them now I'm gonna get this out yeah that's the ID 
E. I mean, that's a SATA. It doesn't just come out. It's like this. There's this little thing that snaps it into place. I think I need a paper clip or something uh, to push it in. Let me go find one. There may be a pen. A pen cap tip would do. I just push it in some somehow. push it in and push it out. Push in, I'm going to pull it out. Let me get a paper clip. Okay, got it out. So the, the way you get it out, you don't need a paper clip or anything. So to get it in, again, you just push it in. To get it out, you need to slightly get it in an angle like this. Like kind of like lift up and then pull it out. Just like that. That's how you get it out. So that's how you do that. So you could use both hard drives. So you could use a SATA hard drive like this, and you could also use an ID hard drive. And yeah, it's very nice to have if you have any, if you have a lot of spare hard drives and stuff like that. Something uh, you could definitely use. And there's some jumper cables. Saw here, which I forgot to tell you about. So this is a jumper. This is a jumper thing. Uh, I think it's for setting the master or the slave for for the hard drive and for IDE hard drives. That was something you had to do. Yeah, the jumper. This is a jumper. Let me, let me see what that is. I'm pretty sure it's set, uh, set at master on default and um, you would have to probably change the jumper if you want to use this as a slave drive from from here to to here probably. That would probably be slave, and this would probably be master. So you'd have to change the jumpers around, or your IDE hard drive isn't going to work correctly. So I think that's about it. 
Okay, thanks for watching.